Hi guys, Dr. Linda is here again. Okay, today I'm going to talk about EFT tapping. What is it? How does it work? And how do we do it for ourselves? Okay, so stay tuned because I'm going to teach us how to do it so you can do it for yourselves. All right, so the first thing, I've gone onto the internet, which I've got open here on my computer, and the website that I'm going to be reading from, so it is a quote, it is a reference that I wish to make, it is www.healthline.com, health EFT tapping, what is EFT tapping? So there's my reference, and I'm also going to put this link in as a reference because I'm actually going to quote them today. Okay. So, what is EFT tapping? Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT. Emotional Freedom Technique is an alternative treatment for physical pain and emotional distress. It's also referred to as tapping or psychological acupuncture, acupressure. People who use this technique believe tapping the body can create a balance in your energy system and treat pain so this doesn't just work for if you've got a sore foot it also works for griefs traumas other emotional pains and blockages that we have so this is a, a not just a physical stress relief it's also an emotional stress relief technique as well good stuff eh? so how does EFT tapping work Similar to acupuncture, EFT focuses on the meridian points or energy hotspots to restore balance to the body's energy. It's believed that restoring this energy balance can relieve symptoms or a negative experience or emotion may have caused. See how this goes into grieves as, um, grievances as well as physical pains? Yep. Yeah. Acupuncture uses needles to apply pressure to those energy points. Remember what he said? Meridian points, okay? EFT uses fingertip tapping to apply pressure. Proponents say the tapping helps you access your body's energy and sends signals to part of the brain that controls stress. So if you know anything about acupuncture, we all know that one part of our body is associated to the next, to the next, to the next, okay? So when we do this tapping through the meridian points of our body, it actually attaches to the neuroplasticity within our brain and it creates a new pathway of stress relief or trauma relief, if you want it to be an emotional release as well, okay? So let me just scroll down here. Come on, mouse, work for me. So there are five steps with doing EFT. The first one that this site says, because I love this site, okay, the, worst, the first one is to identify the issue. In order for this to, technique to be effective, you must first identify the issue or fear, because it is emotional as well, that we have. So if you have a sore foot and you say, okay, I just don't want this sore foot, you've identified it. If you want to release fears or a controlling behavior, or you just get anxious. Now remember here, anxiety is based on the future. Depression is a reaction to what's happened in the past. So if someone is anxious all the time, it generally means that we have a fear of what's not going to go in the way that we want it to. Depression, on the other hand, because it's a past experience, we can't let go of that. So, you know, million and one reasons out there for why we get depressed in our lives, why we get anxiety over our future. So you must identify that first if this is going to work. Now, if you're sitting there and you just say to yourself, well, I am a very anxious person. I always worry. How many of us worry constantly? Please get a copy of my book, Heal to Success, because that goes through all the psychological reasons of how to stop anxiety in the future. Okay, so we've got to find the issue first. 
don't go all out and say which one you know you've got 10,000 different things only pick one in specific okay focus only on that one now test the initial intensity is number two on this website after you identify your problem you need to set a benchmark level of intensity the intensity level is rated to, from a scale of 0 to 10 and 10 being the worst or most difficult the scale assesses the emotional physical pain and discomfort you feel from your focal issue so your focal issue is that issue that you've identified okay number three is the setup which means basically prior to tapping you need to establish a phrase that explains what you're trying to address you know how I keep going about the I am's and the I have's I am healthy I am fit I am strong or I have health I have happiness I have prosperity success I have appreciation and gratitude okay so you get this little catchphrase so as you tap you've got to have your little catchphrase now number four on this list EFT tapping sequence okay so that it says here the EFT tapping sequence is the methodic tapping on the ends of the nine meridian points there are 12 major meridians that mirror each side of the body and correspond to an inner internal organ however EFT mainly focuses on these nine okay so let's go there let's start from number one identify the issue well I am stressed this is me right now I'm going to do this live and I'm going to show you how to do this okay so number one test the initial um, um, find your issue I'm going to say I'm stressed over what the governments are doing to us right now with lockdowns and all this other stuff okay so there's my stress point okay test the initial intensity 0 to 10 oh my god let's just go 10 okay because it's some days for me it's very stressful okay so I've acknowledged the issues which is the setup and now I've got to accept myself despite the problem okay I accept who I am and what I am I've got to accept here that the governments are doing what they're doing the health officers are doing what they think is best etc okay so the first one of these is the karate chop which goes towards our small intestine area now when they say don't do this hard pick a finger now I'm just going to use my middle finger here okay karate chop now you know when you do a karate chop on someone you go hi hey, chop so it's here on the hand so that little bit about there where you karate chop see there that's where I want to tap so I'm going to use my little finger and we just tap it nice and gently tap 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 and I think about all the things I do want my what my I am's my I have's I am healthy I am calm C A L M I am tranquil I am powerful I am strong I am independent I have my own authority I make my own decisions well I have inner strength Wow I don't know if you're doing this with me or not and thinking your own but wow I'm feeling this energy around my hand now the next one is the top of the head which is our governing vessel now if you live by the chakras this is our crown chakra it's basically right here on the top of our head you'll find a little indentation there so you just tap 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 there I am healthy I am fit I am strong I am calm I am serene I am happy tap 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 now the eyebrow is the next one and this affects the bladder meridian now on the eyebrow see our eyebrow you just want to go on the edge see this big part here on the edge there tap 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 I'll just bring my glasses down a little bit right there tap 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 I am happy I am serene I am calm I am happy I have health I have happiness I have family support I have gratitude I have appreciation 
tap, tap, tap. The next one is the side of the eye, which is our gallbladder area. Now, on our eye, it's the side. So if you feel this bone that comes in under our eye, let me just take off my glasses so you can see what I'm doing. If you feel that bone there under our eye, it's right at the end where the eyebrows meet and where the eyelashes, the bottom and the top ones meet. So it's just in there. Tap, 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 tap. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I don't, well, you don't want to say what you don't want. Remember what my issue was? So you're saying all the things that counteract that to get rid of it, okay? I am happy, I am strong, I am independent. I can make my own decisions. I have power. I have authority. I have calmness. Tap, tap, tap. So how long do we have to tap each one for? Only about 15 times, okay? Tap, tap, tap. Under the eye now, this is our stomach meridian. So again, I'll just lift up my glasses. So remember that bone? So now we go right into the middle of our eye, right there at the bottom of where that bone sits. Just tap there, tap, 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 tap. <sighs> Breathe out. Breathe in all the good stuff. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am beautiful. Linda, you are beautiful. Tell yourself you're beautiful every day, guys, okay? Under the eye. Now, the next one is under the nose, which is our governing vessel. So, straight under the nose. A lot of people have those too. I'm just going to see where I am because I've got another screen open. But right there in the middle. So, if it's that from your lip to the nose, you go to the middle, you just tap in there. Tap, 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 tap. I am beautiful. I am healthy. I am strong. I am calm. C-A-L-M. I am tranquil. I am serene. I am peace. The next one is our chin. Now, don't just go to the chin. It's actually, as the lip comes down, and you've got that little bit that comes out, like if you're me, you've got a big prominent chin. I'm like that Jay Leno guy with the big chin, right? <laughs> I don't care what I look like. Okay. So it's just here. Yep, just see where I am. Just say tap, 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 tap. Right in the middle. Tap, 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 tap. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am strength. I am authoritative. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am young. I have strength. I have financial security. I have supportive friends and family. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Now, the beginning of the collarbone is our next one. This is for the kidney. Now, let me go there. Get rid of the hair. Our collarbones, yeah? Okay, the beginning of the collarbone. You See how on my neck I've got this little hollow here and then you've got two bones that come out like that? It's that one. Either or. But that's it. It's the beginning of the collarbone, okay? That's where you, that big blob. See, I've got it here, the big bone. Tap, tap him. Tap, tap him. Tap, tap him. I am so healthy. I am physically fit. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am peaceful. I am calm. C-A-L-M. Just tap, tap, tap. Just with one finger. Not heavy. Just lightly touch. Tap, 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 tap. Now, the next one is says under the arm. Now, I don't judge, okay? Some people wear bras, some people don't. I don't care what your sex is, because I know some males who wear bras too for posture support when they drive a lot. So, if you imagine your bra strap on the side, under your armpit, it's basically a palm, that much, under your armpit. So if you put your hand there, so that here is where we want to tap, just here. Tap, 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 where a bra strap would be if you were wearing a bra. Tap, 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 tap. Just lightly, you don't have to do it hard. Just tap, 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 tap. Oh, God, that's a good one. I am so healthy. I am fit. I'm actually floating off my chair while I do this. Happy, happy, happy. I am calm. I am peace. I am tranquility. 
T-R-A-N-Q-U-I-L-I-T-Y. Tranquility. Happy, happy, happy. Okay? So, so, let's just go through them all again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Do you remember the nine? Karate chop. I need to do a few. Karate chop. Top of the head. The eyebrow. Side of the eye. Happy. I love myself. I love everybody. I'm so happy. I am calm. I am so beautiful. Under the eye. Happy. I am gorgeous. Gosh, I am so elated today. I feel so good. Under the nose. I am so gorgeous. I am so kind, loving, generous to all my friends. I am. So just say all your I am's. Under the nose, under the chin, just here on the chin. Tap, 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 tap. Then we go to the collarbone. On that big blob. I've got a big blob there, I can feel it. But as I breathe in, you can see it. Just say, tap, 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 tap. Light, light, light. A little tap. See how happy I'm starting to get now? Ah, oh, I'm so calm. I am stress-free. I am beautiful. I am calm, loving. I'm kind. I'm generous. I am appreciative. I am so good. Whatever you want to say, okay? And the last one, under the arm, about a palm down, where a bra strap would be. Tap, tap, tap there. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. I can feel that going right through my body. Wow. Whew. Wow, how do you feel now? Okay, so remember, always, always have your right thoughts in process first. Okay, last point here, straight from healthline.com. Test the final intensity. At the end of your sequence, rate your intensity level on a scale from 1 to 10. Compare your results with your initial intensity level. If you haven't reached zero, Repeat this process until you do. So what they're saying there now is when I started this, I was thinking about what the governments are doing and my level of stress was peaking. Now how do I feel? My God. It's at zero. I am now calm, collected. I'm going to go off and have a great day. Well, so finally, guys, does EFT tapping work? This is straight from healthline.com. EFT has been used to effectively treat war veterans and active military with PTSD. Researchers studied the impact of EFT tapping on veterans with PSTD, PTSD um, amongst those receiving standard care. Within a month, participants receiving EFT coaching sessions had significantly reduced their psychological stress. In addition, more than half of the EFT test group no longer fit the criteria for PTSD. I'm going to put this link in the comments. Hope you all enjoy this video. How often do I do my EFT tapping? I sit there watching TV at night and I think, okay, all this stuff that I'm going through, I don't want to have that anymore. I want this. I have this. I am happy, content. And I just start the process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And on that note, while my hand's up, see you in the next one, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.